but I'm this new person and it's lovely and it's amazing and I love who I am and I love who I've become but also what the heck is happening to me I want him to do whatever he wants to do I literally was in therapy just because I don't have the time that I wish I could doesn't mean I can't do the things that I want to do I wasn't opening myself up to receive that care it doesn't mean that I don't care about everybody else it means that I just am juggling my form of being able to connect with people right now is literally making my videos why is that gonna make me cry <laughs> oh that's who I am hello I am sitting on my bathroom counter right now because I need to talk. I'm filming with my iPhone. I don't know where I put my camera, which is a problem, but it's a problem for later. I just need to get these words out of my system. I've been consistently posting on this YouTube channel for the past year. That's incredible work for me, okay? Like, I have never been that consistent on YouTube, and I have wanted to be a content creator for over 10 years ever since i got my first camera when i was like 11 or 12. i feel like i've gotten so good at making videos like i'm not even gonna front like i'm not gonna knock my work like i feel that my videos are pretty good there's always room for improvement i'm not saying that i'm like top notch like best of the best videos you've ever seen in your life absolutely not like i know i can improve and i'm always going to be improving as long as i'm doing videos and my whole thing has always been documenting my life journey. Whatever stage I'm in, whatever I'm going through, I'm making a video about it and I'm sharing it. And you know, I became a mom. So I've, that's what, what I've been documenting. You know, when you become a mom, you get lost in this whole like motherhood roller coaster and you forget who you are for a sec and then you're like oh okay i kind of remember i miss her i want to be her again but i'm this new person and it's lovely and it's amazing and i love who i am and i love who i've become but also what the heck is happening to me like there's all of this mess i've talked about it in a lot of my videos like i did have a lot of postpartum anxiety and i really struggled a lot of intrusive thoughts and this and that i spent a lot of time say hi this is honey i was starting to feel like my channel is only becoming about motherhood which is t completely valid because that is like literally my life like yes i am a mom and it consumes like 90 percent of my time it makes a lot of sense um that my channel would be that because i am going through that it's also just I don't only want to be that and I don't want it to come across the wrong way because being a mom is the best thing in the world and I'm so proud to have that title and I'm so proud that I have this amazing adorable son who is playing in the room by himself he is fine he is safe he's in his little standing activity center he's fine I want to make content that is not purely revolved around motherhood or if it is around motherhood i want it to be around my experience as a mom not my baby's life i am only speaking for myself when i say i just don't want my channel to be around my baby i can talk like i want to be able to talk about my experience as being a mom and everything like that and what i've been learning and what i'm going through and this and that and I just, I don't want it to be baby centered. I want it to be me centered because this is my channel. I don't know. I just think about how I would feel if certain moments of my life were like online for everybody to see. I feel like, you know, like baby, baby, baby doesn't really matter because they're just a little baby. Um, but as your kid gets older, I don't know. Like it's, I'm just not trying to have any issues when we're older when we're all older i want him to do whatever he wants to do and if he doesn't want to be on social media if he ends up being one of those people that just isn't a very big social media person isn't very open with his life like that i'm not trying to be like oh i have this all documented for like so many people to see by the way like i have videos of him for him to see in the future when he gets older. Usually whenever I share stuff with him, it's with friends and family. Basically, there's that. For the longest time I've been doing so many vlogs, which are my favorite because I get to look back on them and reminisce and I love sharing that and I love to be able to talk 
I like being able to relate to people. I like when people can relate to me. Community is really important and I feel like if we have these conversations, he's so happy right now. <laughs> and I feel like if we have these conversations, we create a better community. We understand each other. We are here with each other. We see each other. And I, I don't know how to say this without it sounding bad. Like I am a creative. I love, I have such an artistic mind. Like, okay, this is me really being honest with myself about my strengths. And I used to doubt my strengths. I used to tell myself, no, they're not that good. You're not like, uh, no. Like, why? Why? Like, I need to be honest with myself about where I am good at things. The same way I'm honest to myself when I'm not good at things. I love personal development and I'm always going to be honest with myself about where I can improve. Sometimes I'm blinded and I don't realize that I can improve in a certain area. And then I get a reality check and I'm like, okay, sis work on this so the past couple of videos i've done have been about like self-improvement i love those types of videos like i'm not just doing them to do like i love those types of videos like i was making those types of videos like five six years ago they weren't as structured as they are now because i have improved my video editing skills and all that kind of stuff like, i make them more entertaining now to make them easier to sit through because this kind of face-to-face -face conversation sometimes it's hard for people to sit through if they don't care like whoever is still watching this cares i think and that means a lot to me and that's why i'm leaving this the way that it is it doesn't have to be this big boom bam whatever amazing edit like i'm just talking to you it's hard to showcase my life in a way that doesn't involve me just doing my motherhood duties there's nothing wrong with that i love that and i love being able to relate to people on this i also just have so many other interests and so many other things that i like to talk about i love talking about mental health i love talking about personal development like how i just said i love creating cinematic style videos i don't have time for it i am working on this video i may or may not include a little sneak peek right here before there was amanda the mom there was just amanda That video is gonna come out when I finish it. It was supposed to be the video that I'm posting today. Like this video was supposed to be that video, but I haven't had the time to finish it. So I'm still working on it. And that is because I'm a mom and a lot of my time is taking, taken up with motherhood duties. And then when it's not being a mom, it's like this other thing happens in life and that other thing happens in life. And I have to go here and I have to go there. And I don't have the time I wish I could. But I talked about that in one of my recent videos. Just because I don't have the time that I wish I could doesn't mean I can't do the things that I want to do. It is going to take more time, but I am capable. I can do hard things. Anyways, something about me is that I love efficiency. I love being able to get things done in the most efficient way. Some people call it laziness. Some people call it being smart. I call it being efficient and smart. No, but there's like a lot of things that I do around the house that I just feel like are smart. And I've learned this over time. And I'm a very simple person. I really enjoy doing not crazy stimulating things. I do like going out every now and then to go dance at night, whatever but um, it hasn't been something that I've been doing super often, obviously because of this period of life that I'm in. I've actually haven't done that at all since I gave birth, since I've been pregnant, which is over a year and a half now. Like my baby's about to be nine months and I haven't done that. I miss it sometimes. Like I want to be able to go out and dance and do all these things, but I also have in the back of my head, like my baby, my baby, my baby. And that's something that you have to like grow through, grow through, go through, grow, grow in whatever. As a mom, you're never gonna not think about your kid it affects everything you do always yeah that is another deep conversation for another another time something else about me is i i genuinely care to help people i feel like my god-given purpose on this earth which is literally going to make me cry is to help people i specifically love helping younger girls and being honest or just someone that is going through what I've already been through younger than me or not if I can 
literally just one simple thing that I say or do can make somebody's day better like that fuels me like I love helping people and that is why I make videos also because I could make all of these things and keep them to myself I love making videos period for my own enjoyment it is like what I like to do but putting it out there as someone who used to really struggle with opening up herself and talking about emotions to people I literally was in therapy and I got better because of that and a healthy relationship as well. There are so many things and feelings and moments that I felt in my life that I thought was an experience just for me. I was the only person who would feel like this. I was the only person who was feeling all of these negative things and it's not true. And so I like sharing things to help people not feel alone because there's nothing worse than feeling alone and on top of that like if you feel like you have people around you but they don't understand you that is even worse i love being honest to myself so that i can be honest to other people so people understand that they are not in it alone we can have this conversation you can feel comfort knowing that your experience is not unique to you we all struggle and we all need someone who understands us and who will listen to us without judging us and without making us feel like we're talking too much or like we're being over dramatic about something i love being that person for people that just made me think really quick about like I love being that person for people who is that person for me I am so grateful to say that I do have like a good handful or maybe maybe a little bit more of people who also care for me in that same way and that is a huge blessing and something that I didn't understand before is that they have been here all this time I wasn't opening myself up to receive that care that is why I didn't feel that comfort in people around me and I felt lonely I always wish that in me talking about things honestly and expressing how I feel even if it is negative that you understand that you're not the only person who's going through that and it is okay to talk about these things and my only intention is that you talk about those things yourself you'll never stop thinking about it unless you get it out of your system it's a weight on you and um it's only going to get heavier if you try to push it down and down and down it's it's not gone it's just deep in there and you have to get it out. The only way to truly get over something is to get it out of your system. And so maybe that's what this is for me. Maybe that's what that video is for me. The one that I gave a sneak peek to. I, I, I honestly, like, even just editing that video makes me feel like I'm closing a door. Because like I said, you go through this whole identity crisis when you become a mom. And I've been so fixated on, but... I'm not just a mom, I'm not just a mom, I'm not just a mom, which is, it's not, I'm not downplaying moms at all, because I know what it takes, I am a mother, I'm not just a mom, I am a mom, I'm so proud of that, it's hard work, it's hard work, it is 24-7 attention, it is hard work, but it is the best work, and it's so rewarding, and it's so lovely, it's full of love and um i'm super blessed and grateful that i'm in this position i truly am but that doesn't take away from the fact that it is hard work i'm trying to find a balance um in my content because the longer i make content about me and my baby the longer people will expect that from me and as much as i love you know getting making videos with my baby for my own personal keepsakes it's not what i want the center of my channel to be about i want it to be about my journey my life anything 
any words of wisdom I like sharing. And creative videos, fun, interesting videos that I truly am passionate about. I love cinematography. My creative video style, like when I'm actually intentionally making it some somewhat of a cinematic style video. I describe my content style as cinematic reality TV. I'm showing you all the real stuff. I'm not like trying to make a movie, but at the same time, I'm trying to make the real stuff a movie. It brings light to the fact that life is beautiful. And I'm so passionate about sharing that oh i'm just brushing my teeth okay but how about how the sun like comes in the window in the morning when you're brushing your teeth it's a brand new day it's special that is what i like to showcase in my videos it can be the most regular schmegular day but it's still lovely and beautiful life is beautiful it's a gift and there's so many little details that we overlook and those are the details I like to highlight in my cinematic style videos or vlogs. I'm gonna like info pin, I don't know which side is on right now, a video that I did when I was pregnant. It kind of showcases that style that I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, um, I really like how that video came out. I am many things. I have this creative mindset. I like diving myself into different topics and it makes me who I am. Um, being a mom is not all that I am. I feel like becoming a mom has highlighted my calling. There are so many underlying lessons that come with motherhood that teach you about life and about who you are and everything that you thought you knew about life goes out the window and then you relearn everything. Those lessons that I've learned has connected me back with my passion of creating, making videos, wanting to be a helpful person, putting myself in the position to be able to help people as much as I can, because obviously I'm a mom, so I'm busy all the time. I always have something to do. Um, I'm not able to be there physically for people as much as I used to, and I used to love to be able to do that. Like my love language is showing up, but right now I'm showing up completely for my son, and obviously he comes first. And that doesn't mean that I don't care about everybody else. It means that I just am juggling right now. And my form of being able to connect with people right now is literally making my videos. Why is that gonna make me cry? <laughs> this has been a very isolating stage in my life. If I don't make my video right now and if I don't talk to somebody, like I'm not talking. I think that I, all I want right now is to just be authentically me. I'm just giving you a heads up, that's all. Not every single one of my videos is going to be me with my baby. He's so cute and adorable and we love him when he's in the videos. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know, like I also don't like showcase his face fully. There's things that I'm so private about and I find that usually it has to do with other people that I really care about. I don't post a lot with my husband. There's like little moments here and there, but like our relationship is our relationship and the person who made this YouTube channel is me, not my husband. He's one of those people that isn't very like out there posting all the time. Like he's not one of those people. And so I just respect that. Like if he wants to be in a video with me, cool. But I'm not gonna like be like, be in my video. If I get some footage with him, I'm like, hey, is it okay if I post this? Because I know that he's just not coming. Like he wouldn't do this. So I'm very private in that way. I protect those relationships as much as I can because they're important to me and I am not trying to put myself in a bad position with the people that I love the most. But as far as me, I'm going to be open because this is my channel and I want to talk about these things and I want to be honest. Um, I've already said the whole spiel of why I like being honest and vulnerable 
I don't like being vulnerable. That's the funny part. But I like what being vulnerable does for me and for other people. So it is a sacrifice I make because it's not comfortable. But that's the point. That's the point. So that's who I am. That is what I have to say for right now. I will be updating things in my motherhood journey because it is part of my life. It's where I'm at. So it's not going to completely go away, but just not every single video is going to be so centered around, I guess, my baby. He's the best, but I want to keep a lot of stuff just for him in the future. Thank you so much for listening to me. I really honestly genuinely appreciate it so much time is very valuable and that is the one thing i've really learned in motherhood so thank you